Hello, the purpose of this video is to really ensure that your child understands the concept of more. Before we start this addition journey, we want to really ensure that your child has a good foundation and understands the concept of more before moving on to starting to add um, objects. And we want to do this by really starting to encourage that vocabulary, really starting to develop that vocabulary by giving your child a variety of words that do mean the same as more. So we want to be throughout these lessons, we want to be thinking about more, larger, bigger, bigger number, all of those ideas to really encourage your child to start to in, in really understand those different um, words and those, that different vocabulary. What we really want to start with again is uh, we want to do this in a very practical, proactive way where the children are enjoying it and again using objects that you've got just at home and that do not take a long time to prepare and that don't cost a lot of money. So we really want to start with, again, something very obvious, giving your child a very obvious two piles with one being obviously way more so that they can actually immediately identify it. Okay, so I'm just going to ask Aaron, we've got here helping us today. Say hello, Aaron. Hello. Okay, Aaron, I'm going to ask you which pile of toys has got more? Okay. At this point, this is where you want to really start the discussion with your child. It's very important that you just talk about maths with your child and actually get them to discuss what they're thinking, how they're thinking and the strategies and methods they are using. This will come into play as children become more advanced in maths and this will actually be very, very important when we get to those upper stages of maths. But if you start it here at the beginning, it's something that the child will get used to and they will always... Um, relate to. So I'm going to ask you, Aaron, you've told me this pile is more. Yeah. How do you know it's got more? Because I'm, I'm, I'm counting in my head. You're counting in your head. Do you think you could count the actual objects for me so I could see this got more? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And how many's that pile got? One, two. Okay. So how do you know this is more? This has got six and this has got two. That's what you've told me. How do you know that six is more? Because six is a bigger number. Okay, so really reinforcing that vocabulary with your child and really, really getting them to really think about what they're doing and why they're doing it. And this will really, really set you in good stead for the mathematical journey as it continues. So what we want to do from there is then we want to think about using um, maybe just something very simple like a little dice game or a little sorting activity to then really start to, again, reinforce that concept. So I'm going to take those away, Aaron. I'm going to ask you now to sort. So all I'm going to ask Aaron to do is I'm going to give him four bolty like cubes. And I'm going to ask you, Aaron, can you find a tower or two towers that are bigger than four, that are more than four? Okay, these two. Okay. How do you know they're bigger than four? Because that one, that one has seven and that one has six. Okay, and they're both more than four. What about these ones? Are they more than four? No, that one is three, that one's two, that one's two. Okay, so again, really starting to encourage your child to talk about what they're doing, why they're doing it, and how they know. That was lovely sorting, Aaron. Yep. So now we want to move on to something, and that can be, you can continue on with lots of different ways of sorting, but again, just for the purpose of the lesson, I'm just keeping it short and sweet and giving you very quick short ideas that you can move on with. So again, something again, very simple, just a dice. And I'm gonna ask Aaron, his name's on there, my name's on there, and we're going to play a little game, Aaron. So this game is, you're gonna throw the dice and I'm gonna throw the dice, and whoever has more gets a point, okay? And whoever gets the most points, the winner. Do you think we can do that? Okay, so you're gonna go first. So yeah. throw the dice, now throw it gently, please. Okay, five, so draw five spots then on your side. And actually getting them to draw those spots on there, really getting them to visualise that idea of more. Okay, so just five spots. Okay, right, Mummy's turn. <gasps> Two. Yeah. Okay, who has more? Okay, so you give yourself a tick. Good job. Okay, right, your turn. Two. Okay, two. 
good. Mommy's turn. Ooh, Mommy got two. <gasps> Who has more? No one. Oh, what does that mean? I don't know. Do you think it means we both get a point? Yeah. Do you think it means we have the same number? Yeah. And again, things like this will happen. And again, it's a perfect opportunity to then discuss that further vocabulary that now we've got the same, we have got equal, and maybe we can both get a point. Will we both get a point? Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Right, one more turn. Maybe you're going to be the winner this time. I don't know. We'll see. <gasps> yes. Okay, go put your number on there. I know I am. You know you're going to be the winner? How do yeah. you know? Because there's no number bigger than six. Oh, on a dice, you're right, Aaron. What if I get six, though? It's a tie. Oh, it's a tie. So again, exploring those concepts of things like on a dice, the biggest number is six, bringing those up as they come up and really addressing those and really getting that mathematical discussion going on with your child. They will enjoy it and you will enjoy it. And that understanding will really develop. So you've got six. Right, let's see if I'm going to get six. Uh, it's going to be it. Oh. Yay, I win. Okay, is six or five? Have you got more or have I got more? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, me. Mm. Okay, give yourself a tick. Good I win. Job. So Aaron is the winner. Yeah. So again, things like that can be really fun and really exciting and your child really enjoys it. One last thing we're going to look at is um, just maybe again back to that idea of sorting and back to that idea of finding sets of different numbers. And again, something that I've just drawn up very, very quickly is six different sets of numbers. And all I'm going to ask Aaron to do is Aaron, I'm going to ask you just to tick the sets that have got more than three. Mm. There, that. Okay. How many? Do so do a tick. Tick. Yes. Out of the circle. In the circle. Okay. Okay, how do you know it's got more than three? Because, let's say, one, two, three, four. Yep. Good, okay. Any more? That one. Okay. How many has it got? It has. Seven. Okay, and so on and so forth, and you can go through um, that as well. So I mean basically, this. oh, six. The best, I, the main idea of this video is that, again, you're exploring that concept of more in a fun, proactive, interactive way, again, boosting your child's confidence and continuing on with that mathematical discussion and reinforcing that vocabulary.